Hi there, welcome to the, another video from the Vickers MG Collection and Research Association. And now we're just gonna talk a little bit about the firing pins that are used in the Vickers. Um, and what we've got is two different types. We've got the number one at the top here and the number two down there. And what you can see is other than this area on the rear here, they are both exactly the same. But what's happened, so this is this is more akin to the Maxim, it's, it's slightly different, there's no horn and, and bits and pieces like that. Um, but what happened was they realized that this was too heavy uh, to move quickly to make it easy to synchronize aircraft machine guns to fire through the propellers. Because the lag time in the lock between uh, the trigger pushing this forward or the, the trigger um, being, being activated and this firing forward to hit the primer was too long. And what they found was just by removing approximately sort of probably about 60% of this weight uh, or this, this bit on the rear, that would reduce the weight from approximately one ounce to three quarters of an ounce. And it reduced the, um, the, the, the time that the actuating time from 0.071 to 0.062 seconds. So given the high engine revolutions uh, that were involved, that was enough to make it much more reliable uh, when using the, let's say, the synchronization um, gear. And that took place uh, during the First World War. Uh, so within the first couple of years of the war, really, um, that you start to see these number two firing pins, initially just for air service guns, but then it becomes the standard. You don't need, you don't need to worry about the rate of fire and, and stuff like that within um, the uh, within infantry guns, within the ground guns. Um, so these are just used up and uh, the number two becomes the standard. And it's the number two that we see all the way through then. Um, you know, clearly some number ones are still about and, and this is surviving. Um, there are still quite a few surviving. Uh, well, we've got some markings on the back there. Um, looks like an E in a box, so possibly an Enfield production uh, example, or certainly an Enfield um, inspector's marks. Nothing really else on that one. And then on this one, we've got S81, which is the manufacturer code for the Monotype Corporation. So S being um, south, so they were based in the south, and then 81 uh, being, being the manufacturer code. So they were producing the firing pins as well. Um, so we've got both of those. Now, clearly these are prohibited items in the UK, um, obviously not a, a, a around the world. Uh, so what we produce is a, um, a resin, um, yeah, it's not it's not the best finished example, but it's enough to go into the um, into the spare parts kits uh, or on display uh, to show you what the um, you know, the firing pins were. So yeah, we, we, we do have the um, the number one in that as well. Uh, we're just redoing the mold at the moment on that one, and we'll redo the mold on this one to try and remove these air bubbles and bits and pieces um, that have sort of, uh, you know, the air bubbles weren't removed, but we, we just need to make the mold a bit more resilient so that we can produce those. And they're available through our shop. Um, so yeah, uh, we, you know, clearly it's um, something that's right at the heart of the Vickers machine gun um, and making it function. So hopefully that was of interest for you. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. Please support us on Patreon if you're able to and let us know of anything you'd like to see in the future. I look forward to hearing from you.